this hair is getting ridiculous. What's up machine freaks? I hope everybody's keeping it extremely classy today. I have one thing to say. Thank God it is October 1st, 2016. Dalton, what great event has happened today? Well, to my knowledge, nothing. For, for my personal knowledge, I, I know exactly why. We'll get to what's going on October 1st. A lot of you guys already know. But tomorrow there's an event, and I have to get my four-wheeler ready. Tomorrow is a dice run. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know exactly what that is. But before we go ahead and go on the dice run, I want to go ahead and change my oil. The oil filter is right there. And on these machines, it's really easy to change the oil. This is why I'm thankful that it's October 1st. This is why you don't use a tool when you go ahead and put a new one on. Because then you can never get it off. Nope, not the right size. I need a tool to spin the tool. No, oh, you dirty. I got it. It's not going to be pretty when it comes out, but I got it. This this is this is one day's worth of mail. how long it takes to write back to each and every one of you thank you by the way for writing to me I really appreciated talking to each and every one of you it was extremely fun my hand got a little sore but that I have no complaints no complaints at all Thing takes a lot of oil. So far, so far today, it's been productive. I've got a lot accomplished, and I'm going to continue to get things accomplished. The only problem is, is some of the stuff is boring, and I don't want, I don't want to bore you guys. These videos are for entertainment. We are not here to bore people. We are not here to. No, but seriously, I, I have to clean my room. I have to clean the garage. Like, it is stuff I don't want to do. But what I'm excited to do is get the four-wheeler ready. I think I've already mentioned that. I'm just really excited about it. Because tomorrow's the day.
So a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I take my oil pans and do different things with them. And the reason is, is because I like to recycle. Recycling is clean and it saves the world a bunch of money. Saving money is excellent. You know what's better than saving money though? Spending money. Spending money is terrific. It's a, it's a wonderful activity. So I just want to explain my oil recycling process. No, I don't refine it myself, unfortunately. If I did, trust me, I'd have a much larger garage. We'd be cruising around in tanks and helicopters and everything like that. No, I just strictly recycle it. What I do first is I have a can just laying around, an oil container, and I have a funnel in it. This is a crappy funnel, I have good funnels, I have I have all different shapes and sizes of funnels. This one is my crappy funnel. Jake the Toilet Snake, Seth, all my buddies, they know not to use this funnel when they're pouring stuff into a nice clean engine. This is the crappy funnel. Only use it for crappy oil, and used oil. So that goes right into this container. The oil pan that you take from the vehicle, after done draining, you pour that down the funnel. Bada bing, bada boo. You know what I'm saying? After you pour the oil, there's still some residual oil left. That's easy to fix. I was cleaning my hands. Then I take the remaining oil and dump it into this tray. Gravity does all the work for me and forces all that oil off the pan. Once that pan, tray, whatever you want to call it, gets a substantial amount of oil into it, then I dump it back into, well, that, that crappy funnel. And then that process continues to, it's like a circle. There is no beginning. There is no end. Because it's a circle. Triangle has like a corner and the ends. This one is a circle. Okay, we get it. Recycling is important. It doesn't just stop at oil. It goes for cardboard, paper, plastics, anything like that. If you can recycle, it's awesome for the environment. And that's that. It looks good. But now we gotta run it for a little bit so that it can get into all the nooks and crannies, like the oil filter, and let it swoosh around the engine. Six and a half hours later. Check, check it out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with double, if not triple, checking your oil level. Your oil is the blood to your machine. You don't want this thing running out of blood. Needs more. Now she's all set and ready to kick some trail. Maybe we'll sell it tomorrow. I sincerely want to thank you guys for writing me and giving me the opportunity to write back. Like I said, it was a good time. So we'll open some of this. No way. This is from Alden. Alden, I really appreciate it. It will get its fair use. I got a knife. Got some scissors. Booyah! Probably the most well packaged thing I've received. Are you messing with me? They're not Legos. Are you kidding me? Who's this good looking guy? It's a mirror, and so it's me. So it's a bunch of fuses and relays. Appropriate. 
This guy must dig the BMW build. Hello, my name is Phil. Thank you, Phil. This is awesome. He says, I used to autocross and rally cross B5 Audis and E36 BMWs. He doesn't race them anymore, but he has a lot of parts laying around. And I plan on sending you in the future. That's great, Phil. I want to buy a hood for the BMW. And I, and as you guys saw, bef I have the hinges coming in. Or maybe they already came in, one or the other. I think I need the latch. Like the front latch piece. Well, Phil, thank you for contacting me. This is great. This thing feels like there's something in it. More wristbands. You guys have no idea how many wristbands I received doing this. I really appreciate you guys, but I no longer need wristbands. Please refrain from sending wristbands. If you have a Rolex laying around, go ahead and send it, but I don't need any more wristbands. I probably have enough wristbands to cover this entire arm and this entire arm. And I got long arms. I'm six foot two. These ones are from Mason. Thank you very much, Mason. Even though I have a couple hundred of these things, I still appreciate the thought. I'm looking forward to the four-wheeler event and all that comes with it. I think the whole gang's going. That's what really excites me. Once again, I want to thank the thousands of you guys that sent fan mail. It was awesome. It was an awesome time. We got personalized notes to each and every one of you. Now don't be afraid if you haven't received your stickers yet because I have a huge pile of things that I have to get to. Just be patient. They will be on their way. There were only like five or six packages that came in like this. So, so sometimes stuff fell out. Some wristbands didn't get to me because of things like this. To tell you the truth, you're not supposed to put wristbands in an envelope. Sometimes they accept it, sometimes it gets lost. A whole bunch of things can go wrong. But you guys are awesome. Remember, stay fly, stay classy. Until tomorrow's video, we'll see ya. 3D Machines out.